What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on that button. Today we're in Maple Lake, Minnesota at Gearhead Get Together. Uh, they basically shut down the entire town of Maple Lake. The downtown area, the downtown streets, they just fill it with classic cars. With uh, hot rods, street rods, rat rods, all sorts of classic cars. Anything goes today. And there have been a ton of cars here. I had no idea it was this big. This is one of the biggest shows I, I've been to this year. Um, so you're going to see a lot of cool cars today in this episode, guys. Uh, I've been filming all morning long, and uh, I don't even think I filmed half the show. There's just a ton of cars here. So uh, thanks for clicking on that button, guys. Without further ado, let's get in there. Let's start seeing some cars. There is a lot of cars cruising by. A lot of good engine noise in this episode, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, anyway. Let's get in there and let's look at these cars, guys. It's going to be a fun episode. Thanks for clicking on that button. Let's do this. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here we are at Maple Lake. There are gear days here. Gearhead days. Honestly, don't know. Oh, there goes a buggy. Honestly, this is my first time at this one. Oh, nice. That's a nice Camaro. Ooh, Cougar. What are you there? I'm not, not sure what I'm going to find here, but I found this right away. <laughs> Walking in this old. What is this? It's an old wooden like, old Ford. Yeah, 1922. Look at that. Pretty cool. For sale. No idea how much he wants, but that's pretty cool. And a half hour later, it turns around the other way. <laughs> yeah. They sold 37 pickup truck here. Got like an old go kart in the back. Look at that. That's awesome. This is going to be a fun show. I'm getting excited for this show already. You just never know what you're going to find. No awards at this show. It's just show up with your weird stuff, your cool stuff, your classic car, and all sorts of stuff. And I think that's a wall of death. <laughs> it costs tickets to get in there, though, so I don't know. What in the world? Look at this a little mini bike. <laughs> they put like a just one single fender on it. <laughs> That's cool. Military police bikes. Someone's fixing to do some damage here today with this thing. I'm always thinking of Indiana Jones. It's even got the sidecar. Look at that. This thing is packing. Little Ford Falcon. A little Honda bike here. GMC truck and a 56 next to it here. Man, everywhere I look, this is going to be so cool. Oh, there's a Javelin over here. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Old AMC Javelin. Another Mercury Cougar. Look at this. Old Kaiser Manhattan. This is awesome. I hardly ever see these at shows. <laughs> I love it. Look at the, the thing I love about these Kaisers is the windshield. Look at that. It's got like a widow's peak on it. <laughs> How cool is that? You never see that. Look at this back window too. It has the same thing on it. <laughs> That's so unique to these Kaisers. I love it. Man, really cool to see this Kaiser. Little 37 Buick for sale here. Only asking ten grand for it, ten five. I believe this bad boy has a straight eight in it. Man, 
Looks like it's in decent shape for 10 grand. As long as it runs good. This thing is a... Wow, that's in really good shape. Oh, that's very nice. Here. Back to this old javelin here real quick. Yeah, buddy. Nice 55 here. Also in the park, there's food being served also in the swamp. Love it. Start diesel. Look at this. If you're uh, near the water tower this old area, dodge. you hear a lot of Holy cow. running around. They're inside a great big barrel that's about 50 feet in diameter. We call it our wall of death. Now they get on those motorcycles in the bottom of this and hand them a dollar bill or whatever as uh, they go flying by. They like tips. So it, it's crazy, it's amazing. Now the Wall of Death is located just to the southwest of our water tower. You can see that from anywhere in town. And you can't miss the Wall of Death. It's that red is so and cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice uh, 46 Chevy here. Got a nice old Harley back here. Man, there's so many unique things here. I've just gotten to the show. This is gonna be fun. This little rat rod here. I love rat rods. Everyone is unique. Every time you see a rat rod, it's pretty much a one of a kind. streets to go down this one this one and that one and uh, uh, there's more side streets as well so this is gonna be awesome there's old Willie's here nice look at this old Ford CUE <laughs> this thing is so cool Look at this thing. We got the windshield protector up there, the visor they put on there. It's a massive truck. Look at the ball on this thing. Thing has big balls. It's a nice GT 350. Fastback. Oh, baby. You don't see these too much anymore, these old Jeeps. There's old 35 Ford truck here. Here's a 1960 Morris Minor, <laughs> like a clown car kind of thing. It's even got the little 
Red nose. <laughs> Here's an actual circus. A clown car for a circus. 1980s club car. Circus clown special. <laughs> Whatever that means. It's like a golf cart kind of basically. It's an old 77 Chevy Blazer here. Nice old 57 Chevy here. Yeah, that's a nice 57. Look at this thing. Well, the 57 Chevy we were looking at is next to this. You can still kind of see it over there. And now we've got this massive international, like, police squad SWAT team. It says Wright County Sheriff's Office. Like a zombie hunting machine. Look at this thing. Holy cow. And we got the thing at the top. To I think it's scary. Back in. That thing is insane. Firehouse getting into the party too here. They got their old truck out. Old international fire truck here. All right, let's keep walking down these side streets here. Old Chevy. Oh, look at this old Dodge truck here. Loving the colors on this. It's nice. I love the headlights on these things with the little like eyelids on them almost. Good looking 55 next to it. Colors on this. The paint looks really nice. New Bronco driving by here. Fun to see Broncos on the road again. But look at this. Chevy Impala Super Sport here. Oh, got something coming by me here. What do we got here? It's like an old Ford truck. Hearst Oldsmobile, <laughs> 1974. I think this is one of those official pace cars 
74 Hurst Oldsmobile here. Let's see what we got coming down the road here. Nice Chevelle here. Here we go, back to the Hearst Olds. <laughs> Indianapolis Speedway. Like we got an old Chrysler coming down through here maybe. Oh, it's a DeSoto. Good looking sting right here. Love the side pipes. This guy's blinking at me, this new Dodge. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. There's just streets of cars everywhere. <laughs> this show is way bigger than I thought. Old Ford here. Cutlass here coming through. A nice 66 Ford here. I like the stacked headlights on these. They did not make very many of these as uh, convertible. So pretty unique to see this car. Got the A-Track in there too. It's 56 Chevy here. Look at that. 36 Hudson. Custom. Chevy truck there, a couple of Chevy trucks. Oh my goodness. This is like one of my dream cars here. <laughs> 66 Chevy Bel Air. 
Although I think I do like the 66 Chevelle better, but. <laughs> I have so many dream cars. This thing has a 555 in it, 700, 705 horsepower. It's a monster. Fifty-three Ford Victoria. These early fifty Fords, and some of them got in the all the louvers on the hood there. It's convertible too. This is super nice. My gosh. Forty six international here. Okay, that's what smelled so good. Old Bob's got his mini donuts here. His old Ford here. Nineteen forty seven Ford sedan. Nineteen eighty Triumph here. Next to a Corvair here. That is not the pancake six on this though. <laughs> Put a V8 in a Corvair. <laughs> so what do we got here? I haven't seen this before. We have a 1963 Corvair with a 327 running in reverse rotation in a Corvair. Um, it has the original Corvair transaxle or differential and transmission. And uh, the engine is running reverse rotation to adapt that way. My dad was the first one to do this type of an adaption back in the early 60s. Um, his was a 62 Corvair with a 63 Corvette 327, 340 horse motor. He was the first one to do this adaption uh, back then and it was in Hot Rod Magazine in 1964, uh, October of 1964 to be exact. And uh, he got killed in his car and uh, subsequently we actually found his car, 54 years later, what was left of his car, the engine, the drivetrain, all the adaption pieces, and I have that at home now. And uh, so eventually we're gonna restore that car and uh, bring that to the shows alongside this one that was done. We bought this car in 19, uh, uh, excuse me, 2017, and uh, it was, uh, car that was being raced in the early 70s out in California. Uh, anything else about the car, I don't know what else, uh, you know, who built it or anything like that, but we've gone through the whole thing mechanically front to back and made sure it was safe and in good running condition uh, so that we can bring it to the shows. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty unique vehicle. You don't see that ever. Corvair with a V8 in it. Pretty cool.
So we got a lot of great live music coming your way here at our lovely Daniel Beerhead Dinner. Rocking the ground and round and the uh, gravity from the way they're going. More trucks here, another international. Another international here. Look at that. Ooh, a nice Ford here. Must be like a 54, I'm guessing, ish. Another international here. Man, there are just cars everywhere. This old Chevy. Just walking down that big row, all the way down the road. Just got the one side of the road. There's cars on the other side too. You got to go all the way down there, and then this is an entire parking lot of cars here. <laughs> this is a massive show. Here's a 1969 Mercury Cougar. I don't know how many uh, convertibles they made of these. I'm guessing it might be kind of rare. Noise <laughs> behind me, no, not feedback, but about 10 minutes. So if you want to see Robbie V and his shows, that'll be starting. 10 minutes. They're doing a uh, sound check right now. <laughs> Harley's car. I thought it was Harley's. Yep. I must have fixed it. I never yeah, heard back from him, so he must have worked out okay. That might be it's kind of interesting how you... Nice Nova here. 396. Nice 32 Ford here. Man, I'm just surrounded by a ton of cars. I'm like, I don't even know what to film. I want to film them all. A little international scout here. That's pretty cool. Well, I was trying to get to it and get a better shot of it pulling up, but <laughs> we'll just film it when it's turned off here. Nice little 55 here. I love it. With a deep, kind of deep purple flames going into the black.
That is Jack nailed it right on the head. <laughs> it's like the two hoses. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Pipe a hose. Got stacks. Oh, it's it's it in, a couple of stacks coming off the headers there. That is. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that. Stacks coming off the headers. That's pretty cool. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, that's what you gotta love. Rat rods. It's fun. Hey, guy. <laughs> Looks like he's ready. <laughs> Can you take a picture of us? Sure. You get some of those cars like that, that Chevy we were just looking at. Some of the others with the high performance engines in them. You need the high octane gasoline and everything, or the fuel, I mean, and cost them like five bucks a mile just to take them to a show. Crazy. Crazy about some money and gas putting in those things. Some nice cars here though today. This is a fun show. I wasn't sure what to expect because uh, Maple Lake is not a huge town, but they got enough. Here's that DeSoto. I saw that one come in. But man, I'm very pleased and I, geez, I don't even think I've seen half the show yet. Man, there's some nice cars here. Oldsmobile Cutlass here. Apparently, this is the T Lass. <laughs> it's a T Lass uh, version. <laughs> These are cool cars, though. This is cool to see. Good looking charger here. Looks pretty original. And I mean, the problem is to fight the floor. Oh, yeah? That's why I do the item to try to suffer this hard to say that it's hot. I'm the second owner on it. You're Numbers the second match. owner? Everything's original. Numbers match, Four everything's match. original. Second owner, original interior. You said it has been painted, but that's probably about yeah. it. Awesome. About 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Looking pretty good still. So. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Yes, yes. Well, we're towards the end of this side, but still probably not even halfway through this thing. Look at this. Look at this thing. Just, uh, <laughs> Everywhere I look at this show, there's something cool to look. Look at. Look at this Challenger here. Dodge Challenger 383 RT. 
Toyota cruising by there. Yeah, this Ford truck here. This is nice. I'm loving the spokes on this. Look at the way the fenders flow into each other on this thing. Like a couple of waves. The, uh, it's like the end of the show over here. They got a Pontiac Trans Am. It's Oldsmobile 442. This thing is uh, sitting up a bit higher, I think, than normal, right? Must have a custom suspension in this bad boy. I like it. Pontiac here, 61. <laughs> Nova, 350. believe this is a 62 Pontiac Catalina wagon of course this is cool this little cutlass here Peterbilt Peterbilt How's your Peterbilt? <laughs> this is awesome. A 1952 Chevy. A 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, 
Chevy, a couple of Chevy trucks here. Look at the bed in this truck. Whew, that's some nice woodwork there. This is nice. I think it's a, I think it's a 55. In case you're wondering, I don't purposely concentrate on, on Chevys. You just seem to see more Chevys at these shows than anything else. So, those of you who like Ford or any of the Mopar makes, like I, I try to film those too as much as I can, as many as I find. I just don't see as many. But I love them all. Here's a Dodge. <laughs> Good old truck there. Tell you what, get her done. Nice GTO. Yes, Sun Coop here. I think it's a 72. <laughs> Look at that, they put kind of like a slide off sunroof on it. Hence the name Sun Coop. <laughs> That's cool. I have not seen that before. Buick Sun Scoop. Sun Coop, sorry. Sun Coop. The old Sun Coop. <laughs> Good grief. It would take me. Five days to film this whole show. Just stumbled upon a park and it's full of cars. <laughs> Nice Trans Am. Not sure the year of this. This newer uh, GTX here. Hey, buddy. Here's a nice Super B. It's got the Yeah, there's a nice challenger. Yeah. 
this old Cadillac here. <laughs> the old phone in there. I like to make a phone call. <laughs> That's awesome. This 55 panel wagon here, panel delivery. Nineteen forty one Ford. And this is super unique. It's not just a convertible. Look at this. It's a pickup. I've never seen this before. Top off sitting in the bed. This is super cool. Yeah, it's done up real nice too. A little 54 Nash Metropolitan. This is cool. that or not man I got somebody with a drone flying over all of these cars <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'd be that brave if I was a drone operator that I wouldn't drop it on this beautiful 442 Oldsmobile <laughs> I don't think I could do it man so many nice cars I'm just like, ooh, look at this one. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. Nice. I found another one. It's a 65 Rambler Marlin. I have, this is only the second one I've ever seen. I saw one at Mopar's in the park. And this one is for sale. We were looking at like Christmas places. 16 firm. Here you go, some info. So cool. I don't think that this is an AMC Rambler. I don't think AMC acquired them yet. I'm not sure how that all went down, but I don't think it's an AMC just yet for this year. Of course, Ramblers became AMC. I'm not sure what year. Look at this, this is so cool. Man. <laughs> so unique, I'm almost thinking about throwing down some money on this bad boy. Yeah, probably not. We have the lions here on this. Cool. Well, I'll be surprised if that doesn't sell. Cool car. Nice, nice little Ford Falcon Sprint here. Falcon next to the Marlin. Mr. 
a nice old Plymouth. It's got to be around a 58. Well, I'm not positive. Of course, if this is the 58 Plymouth Fury, I think it is. This is the same car that uh, the movie Christine. This is Christine, except that was red and white, of course. And here she is from the movie Christine. This is it. This little Chevy truck kind of dropped down low. It's kind of fun. Chopped a little bit. Looks cool. I like it. It's got a cool look. This old GMC here. Good looking at 55 there. My father was lucky to be a part of all that. Here's a handful of my favorite. The 68 Plymouth GTX here. Here we go. Just in case any of my uh, film work is uh, causing any of you guys to feel queasy, I got some Pepto Bismol here for you. <laughs> it's an old Mercury. I think it's a 51. <laughs> Even got the Pepto Bismol on the, the hood here. I love these old Mercuries. They're some of the coolest cars. I saw this last year at the Frankensteiner's Ball. You don't forget a car like this. So nice. Old Studebaker. Chevy truck for sale here. Just walk down here a little ways. Got this Pontiac here. Sixty three Cadillac. Look at that bad boy right there. Ford truck here. Another Mercury Cougar. All right. 67 Mercury Cougar. This is the first year I believe they came out with these and they ran for a long time. The Mercury's ran until like 97 I think. Of course they didn't look like the Cougars here they did back in 67. These won car of the year when they came out. Mercury Cougar, look at that. That's cool, I didn't know that. I believe the Plymouth Roadrunner won Car of the Year in 68, the next year. Let me correct me if I'm wrong. Cool. All right, let's cruise on down a little bit further down here and see what we find.
Seoul International here. Sixty four Thunderbird. Thirty four Chevy. Ford Model A. That's pretty cool, man. Car agrees with me. Nice 56 here, followed by a 62. Followed by a 57. Must have like an old Chevy Blazer kind of truck club here, or just square body trucks as a GMC. GMC, some Chevys here. A lot of GMCs here. Fun to see this Mini in one spot. Look at this old Blazer here. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Well, we saw a Corvair with a V8 in the back, which was unique because these have a Pancake 6 in the back, and now here's a Corvair with the V8 in the front. <laughs> People just mixing and matching Corvair parts. There goes the train. I bet this thing flies. <laughs> never seen that. Never seen a Corvair with the engine in the front. And I've never seen a Corvair with a V8 in the back. Well, I saw well I saw that one more <laughs> one other time. <laughs> I'm liking the uh, artwork on the side here. And I bet this thing is loud. <laughs> it's a nice old Bronco. I'm going to guess 77.
Here's the old school air conditioner. <laughs> nice old international truck here. Yeah. Go on that side, you want to see something cool. Go on that side? Okay. See what we got here. The tags that came with the truck. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's. That's incredible. Wow. So cool. Original. It's all it's all original? Yeah. Still got the same old flathead six. Oh wow, look at that. Old flat six. Stump pullers. They call them years ago. Yeah? But the farmers had them. Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at this roll of wood too. It's a 46 he said. Look at that. That's incredible. That original. Look at that. That's so cool. That's pretty incredible. 46 International Truck. Very original. Wow, this is super cool. Very cool to see. I've seen quite a few International Trucks here today, but to see one that original, with the original engine in it and everything, and oh my gosh, that was cool. Look at this car. <laughs> Look at that. That's the purplest purple I've ever, ever purpled. It's a 78, 78 Firebird. One of my other dream trucks here, <laughs> 56 Ford. Man, there's a lot of cool trucks here. That old international COE right there. Here's a uh, 74 Dodge Dart. A Volvo, a P40. I've already got the MSP here. And now you have the MSP. Yeah, a P490. Nice 55 here. I think this is an old Ford here. It's nice. 57 next to it here, Chevy. It's a 51 Ford Victoria. Nice Corvette here. It's got to be around a 60, I think. Looks like a good rest, rest, resto mod. How come the engine isn't orange? 
Something you don't see every day. <laughs> Gorgeous 57 here with some subtle kind of blue flames. This is nice. Incredible Nova here. I mean, it was just fired up. Here's a 48 Ford Coupe. Some custom work. Look at this thing. Pontiac uh, Chieftain. I think it's a Chieftain. It's a 53 Pontiac. Man, so many cars. 56 right here. Oh my goodness. A nice vet. Nineteen forty-four here. Next to a good-looking Oldsmobile, drop down low here.
gray ghost. <laughs> uh, 56 Ford Gasser. Have seen the disco movement at the time, but it kind of fits today's music too, don't it? Anyway, it's time. Oh, this international. Nice. We'll travel all. Another old uh, Ford pickup truck. Kind of like that last one we saw. This one's not a convertible. Still. It's very blue. <laughs> Just take a walk down Main Street here. Look at this. Sorry, it's getting real crowded. It's getting real crowded now. So I'm just gonna cruise down here. Wow, look at this. Sixty-two caddy. There's a 53 Buick. There's a 1910 Buick. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's tractor technology, right? On the Model T's have three pedals. Yeah, are you adjusting it? You're carrying the baby. <laughs> I'm so tempted to give her a little squeeze. I won't do it. Nineteen thirty nine Huffmobile. Never seen one of these before. It's got a straight eight in it. That is super unique. I have never seen them before. It's a nineteen fifty Chevy. Fifty one Mercury convertible. Same thing. Fell down and busted his square fuse. So then they now you had this big collar and then he goes. Sixty 
67 GTO. It's a 36 Chevy Master Deluxe. Cruise down this road here. So nice, couple of nice 30 Fords there. Another nice Ford, 39. 55. Here's an old 1953 Willys and it's for sale. Needs a little work, looks like. It's uh, 6,900 they're asking. Some stuff about her here. It's got a monkey in the back. So, you know, backseat driver. <laughs> this old Ford truck here. Somewhere around a 54-ish. Here's a uh, 57 Plymouth Fury. So we saw a 58 a little while ago. Here's a 57. Looks a lot alike. Here's a nice DeSoto. A 1960 Chevy Parkwood. That's cool. Yeah, this is super cool. <laughs> Man, what a cool car. Pretty cool. Whew, man, I'm getting tired. I think it's about time for me to start making my way out of this here car show. I don't, I'm lost though, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Just been walking around this town for all morning long and now I don't know where I'm at. Let's take a look at this Studebaker up here. The bullet nose. Look at that. Here's a uh, 37 Plymouth Coupe. Yeah, I'll put that up there. Yeah, for sure. Another guy's collection. <laughs> okay. How long have you had it then now for? Not, not long. Not long? This old rat rod here. It's kind of a cool shot with the old grain elevator in the back there. The old DeSoto and the old crane elevator. What year is this? <laughs> Start to feel like you're living in the 50s, man. It's a 1948 DeSoto. Flipping gorgeous car.
Big old Cummins diesel in there. Stack coming off it. Some nice metal work in this thing. Cummins diesel rat rod. Look at that thing. It's got the blinkers going each way there. And then the <laughs> stop, stop light. Red brake light, I mean. That's so cool. The 56 Mercury. The 53 Ford. Nineteen fifty-eight. Alrighty gang, well, I am exhausted. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching this episode. I am super pooped out, so I'm gonna head home now and grab some food, parched. This was a great show, way fun. Definitely gonna have to come back to this show sometime. Um, but yeah, had a great time at the show. So thanks Maple Lake for hosting the Gearhead Get Together 2022. Loads of fun. Thanks for watching this episode with me guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Check you later, okay bye. Thank you.